All right, uh, looks good. Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel, and welcome to finally a podcast that I really wanted to do. This is not just one of a podcast. Consider this as a podcast series. I'll probably put this into a separate playlist as well. I wanted to do this kind of a podcast for really, really long. These are like consistent podcast, talking about the tech, what's happening in the world, and it requires so much of effort to bring somebody in. whom i can talk regularly on day to day basis first of all you need to be good friends and that's the number one requirement and then somebody who live and breathe tech just like me so i thought who would be better than my uh, really old time friend and our co-founder as well uh, ceo of learnist shankar i hope shankar that's a good introduction ceo of learnist <laughs> thank you thank you yes i, I never is. felt you you as like ceo you more of a like a product manager of the learnest but hey you are you are ceo officially <laughs> yes uh, so majorly the work we do is on the product only because we are only tech platform we don't do content or anything so majority of our time is covered with uh, tech only so yeah but, yeah but it's it's really tough to actually bring shankar on a podcast and especially on a regular one uh freeing up his calendar i literally went into his laptop and freed up his calendar for tuesday Uh, that every tuesday we are recording this it goes live whenever it goes but hey recording days is tuesday so shankar how does it feel to be <laughs> on the camera <laughs> yeah from uh, monday only i will be thinking about today podcast is there, tomorrow podcast is there so we'll be prepping it up so it feels good so thank you for the setup also so <laughs> yeah, i actually literally flied to the bangalore yes. to buy the camera to buy the lights i uh, had it all set up but yeah man it it's really worth the effort and why i really wanted to do this is first of all a lot of students want to learn about the tech not just about writing the code and stuff that i do already but there is so much behind the scene of building a product taking down the challenges and somebody people want to just hear about what are the tech challenges you are facing what the challenges comes at the scale i want to know all about it so i think people who are above sd1 sd2 they will absolutely love this talk Uh, because those who don't know shankar is the tech guy you you really want to hang around with him you will absolutely enjoy his company once he start geeking out the man who has lived and breathed for 7 years into vim yeah man you are the next prime job <laughs> yeah <laughs> vim it's past now so now it's all visual code so let's see <laughs> but man come on you sh- If you get camera friendly and the podcast friendly, you could be the next prime gen. You could beat me in the <laughs> subscriber base, man. <laughs> no, Itesh, yours uh, means you, the way you present, the way you talk, it's totally different. Means you appeal to the student very well. We are in office. We talk to you know our colleagues, so <laughs> it's totally different. Oh man, uh, can you can you move the mic a little bit lower? It's still uh, breathing. Yeah, that that's good. Is this fine? Yeah, and we are not going to be removing this part as well. No, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you will edit it out. <laughs> no, this is not going to be edited out. So I want to keep it as raw as possible. By the way, those who don't know, today's podcast, I will be picking up one topic in each podcast. We'll be discussing about the tech and all of that. Today, we are picking up the most difficult challenge, which is video streaming challenge. I have already put down the notes. I have sent these. Hey, Shankar, how did you write my handwriting in in the, that? It's pretty good actually. So I, I I think I should buy a iPad and a pen. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was forcing him uh, last time when we met yes. in the Bangalore. I was forcing him go buy this iPad. It's it's really nice. Once you start getting the hold of this Apple pencil and this stuff, man, you are writing so many notes. Yes. Oh so, yeah, true. probably I'll do that. All right. So before moving further, uh, just a brief introduction. So uh, I do a lot of YouTube videos. You know me already. Uh, me and Shankar have been working together for really, really long, uh, building up Learnis from the ground up, from the scratch up. A pretty good product that we have built. Really proud of it. Uh, it took almost eight years to build it. It's a very standard product, very stable product, uh, and it's a tech-only product. So when you hear about the edtech, the tech side, yes, that's where we are. And if you haven't checked out Learnis, go ahead, check it out. It's a pretty nice platform. It's a one-time like. payment fees only we don't take uh, the commissions and all of that if you want to go like hey we want to just charge it subs- uh, subscription basis that's it uh, you take all of your money we just allow you to inject your own razor pay keys uh, cash free keys whatever the keys the money comes directly to you so this is what learnist does and a whole lot of other things 
today we are starting with the most difficult challenge that we have taken down videos so shankar what is a video <laughs> so typically video there will be three challenges one is when you upload we have to allow uploading up to 5 uh, gb videos or 10 gb videos depending on the customer second is transcoding the video means converting the video format which majority of the device can access or play through because in india we have so many device variety from you know uh, android from chinese phones to apple I, uh, iphones so many things we have to play so common internet common uh, formats we need to convert every other time if we change little bit also in transcoding there is a problem in some low end devices it will not play on top of this we have to encrypt the videos for security because in india as you know piracy is very big problem so piracy means students will not understand but teachers who were streaming right they lose lot of money because for the bandwidth for the storage for our charges everything uh, teacher would have paid so if the videos are leaked uh, approximately around 30 40% of the videos are leaked so that causes uh, lot of revenue loss and in some cases you know livelihood loss also for uh, teachers who are in you know core segment like upsc or ca like this so security plays very important part so we have to encrypt the video then uh, in india as you know bandwidth is a constraint so we can't uh, always think high bandwidth will be streamed or used this is not possible so what we have to do is we have to divide the video into uh, you know low quality medium quality high quality depending on the student uh, what kind of network they are in the same video should be streamed and i, I really like your approach man <laughs> i think this is something that everybody who is watching this podcast really need to understand that we don't just go out and start coding the stuff we first of all nail down the challenges what are the challenges we are facing what is the problem statement we are facing a lot of time when you are just becoming a team lead a project manager you just want to get up with your team and start writing the code or start writing the user case we don't do it we never do it every single time we are building a feature at learnis it's all about what is the problem we are solving do we know the problem enough uh, how much research can we do about the problem and coming on to the security part i personally know a friend uh, from i guess he was from ukraine or probably bulgaria i don't remember exactly where he was he built out a really nice course and uh, he he just left his job uh, took 3 months or 4 months to build this course he was very happy with that and somehow his video got leaked and uh, his sale got good for initial 1 month but after that it was such a drop in the sale and man i really felt really sad for him that he has to close down his shop so imagine you have burned all of your savings for the 3 months you took really hard in building a course it was such a nice course experienced folk worked hard really but he has to close down his shop again go back into finding a job he was a jobless for 3 months after that i helped him out in some of the references but man piracy can really hit you really hard in the pocket and a student doesn't feel it that way but just a small piracy incident he was very devastated with that almost in the depression anxiety mode that hey i i wanted to teach man i wanted to do this for my living but since i'm not making money with it oh man i have to go back and then it's not easy to get back into the uh, yes. zone that okay i'll <coughs> code again he felt really heartbreak and i i man i wish i could help him a long back it, it's a long back story around like 6 7 years ago or something oh uh, man i wish i could have helped him that time but i felt really bad so again video security is the issue but coming back shankar uh, yeah. uh, my question was what is a video not the challenges <laughs> come on man uh, video the box of the video a lot of people don't understand what does exactly. a video mean when i say mp4 video a lot yeah. of people say hey it's a file but for you and me we don't consider it as a file it's a box so yes. your thoughts on that so mp4 all these are container formats so how the video is placed inside uh, sorry video streams are placed inside a uh, file so this container uh, format can be mp4 or mp3 uh, for audio so uh, th- this things will be a container format inside that the videos will be encoded that will be h264 the common standard uh, is h264 so the so video if, will if be if you look at this consider this as a big box and yes. inside the box there is h2 uh, 264 that's your frames all the frames yes. along Picture with that frames. and 
yeah picture frames along with that there is an audio as well so yeah. it's the job of mp4 container to actually pick up the frame and pick up the exact video segment to match it up and on yes. top of that you can also have your uh, srt files and everything those are also framed files so if you look at the open up any srt there is a timestamp and there is a text so all of this needs to be properly aligned and it's the job of your video player to actually yes. sync them all up so whether it's a vlc player if you have used that or quick time yes. player it's it's their job to bring that container yes. match up that information sync it up it's like database syncing almost like that yes. and once these are these are software good softwares but once you move online oh man you have to design your own players we'll we'll come back <laughs> on to this yes. one so this is your brief idea about what is a video anything am i missing shankar so uh, the pictures uh, for space saving there will be i frame and p frames so picture moved uh, right in uh, i don't i forgot the number 20 frames per second or some number is there it will look like a, a video moving so if you put uh, is yeah. usually there what you see in the FPS, cinema yes. what we shoot is 30 frames and when you see those realistic videos those are 60 frames per second yeah. if you want to make it slow motion or something then the frame rate goes high 120 240 that's usually Correct. the idea yes so this fps frames <clears throat> then we have to optimize uh means if you put uh, you know uh, like 60 frames if you put the uh, video will be very bulky so what they do is they do the diff this are all handle in the hardware not in software so they do the diff and uh, when the at the milestone when the video f- uh, changes there will be i or p frame so after that again the diff from the uh, this frame to next frame they will take the diff so this way the videos are encoded so we will not notice that but in the background it will be uh, you know uh, encoded like this so this encoding process to do that everybody relies on open source so it's ffmpeg so FFmpeg, here is where the ogs yes. the people who are yes. actually writing the softwares we are yes. not writing softwares <laughs> compared to them nobody is writing yeah. the soft yes those are the ogs of writing software if you just look at their source code those guys are handling c and even assembly at some places oh man those guys are really ogs yes we are all application engineers those are real engineering jobs what they do there <laughs> <laughs> we just yeah. apply take it here apply to our use case uh, what we have done is over fm mpeg we know our videos it will be majorly teacher teaching it's not a movie file it's not a you know lot of scenery is coming you know somebody is writing board or talking there is not lot of movement this optimization we have added over ffmpeg actually that is our proprietary stuff yes so proprietary stuff our proprietary stuff some open source uh, over ffmpeg this is what we have done so there is a paper by netflix they have title based optimization so there uh, you know title based means a movie which is a slow movie where uh, there is no action or very simple uh, things are there like drama we'll, movies we'll come back onto the netflix they <laughs> they are do a lot of stuff